communities, mentors, coaches, friends, families, people that support your vision. Nurture these relationships. Nurture them. Because they are going to fire you up. Ready? Okay, so we're up very early this morning because we've rejoined a like an, an online networking community. So we're up at six on the morning call. They have their Monday to Friday. It basically just gets you like in a positive frame of mind and basically ready to go and like kill the day with all, all the action you've got to do and stuff. Um, and then straight after that, I got coffee and did 90 minutes of basically scraping together a leads list. So we're just gonna do that. We're gonna try and scrape a thousand leads this week, me and my two business partners. And then we'll just be going through them, doing DM outreach on Instagram and trying to book some sales calls for the thing we're offering right now. So we're gonna to go to the gym in a minute, we're gonna get showered, and then we've got a lot of scraping to do. Checked on me when I needed, so I just stack my bread, stay in my back, and not in my feelings. Overthink too much. All right, so we just got back from the gym, and now we're straight back to scraping leads. So, right now, our method of getting new clients for the business is through cold outreach. So, cold outreach is basically reaching out to someone who doesn't know who you, doesn't trust you, have no idea who you are, um, and then you sort of have got to try and book a call with them, and then once you're on the call, that's where you try and close them. But first of all, in the cold outreach, you've got to sort of identify whether or not they're the right sort of prospect that you're looking for. And also, I feel like a lot of people, when it comes to the strenuous tasks like cold outreach or client acquisition, or something that they see as boring that they've got to do in their business in order to get a result, I feel like they always see it as homework instead of seeing it as like every single one of those 1,000 leads that you've got to get onto a list is a potential client who's going to not only be someone who you can do a really good service for and get a really good testimonial from, but they're also someone who's going to be funding your dreams because they're paying you and so you're going to be making money from these people. See the hard things you have to do as opportunities and like gifts really. On the back end of every hard thing is a good thing usually. Okay, so we just filmed two sort of like nighttime YouTube videos that will be coming out over the next like few days. Um, just on the thoughts that I came up with in the shower. So yeah, I thought I'd quickly record a couple of YouTube videos. They're quite simple, just on the whiteboard. Um, so let me know in the comments if you sort of like those whiteboard videos and if you think they're valuable. Um, because I'm trying to focus more on just giving value over like f focusing on like production and editing and everything like that. Um, so yeah, had a good day today. We're gonna plan our day out for tomorrow. Watch some, watch some Alex or Mosey. That's what I usually do before bed, and then we'll hit the sack and go up at five forty-five again in the morning. All right, so it's seven o'clock on a Saturday morning, and uh, we've got this cool like online mastermind thing with a load of business owners and entrepreneurs. So I don't really know what too much about what it's about, but it's going to be good. Who aren't doing as expected? It makes them only, it makes them only do uh, the baseline in order to flow that attention to to you. That that is going to be one of the reasons why it's What the hell? Okay, so it's a beautiful Saturday morning. We've had a really good start to the day. Um, and it just got me thinking, if you, and I've learned this through a lot of experience of trying to basically have the perfect day as many times in a row as I can. And if you just focus solely on having 
and striving for excellence in the morning, then that is the best way to ensure that you can have a really good rest of the day. And instead of like waking up and then planning everything you're gonna do for the day, if you can plan the night before and just focus the night before on making sure you get up at the same time you said you were gonna get up um, and you crack on and you achieve a load of stuff in the morning, it's gonna have a massive effect in terms of the positive flow going into the rest of the day. So if you're someone who's trying to get consistent, um, trying to have as many good days in a row as possible, then just focus on striving for excellence and just win in the morning. Because when you win the morning and when you get a load of stuff done, obviously it has a massive effect on the dopamine. You feel good, you feel fulfilled. You feel like you've got energy to go again. You've got momentum to go for the rest of the day. If you're recording that bit, can you blur out my phone number? Yeah. Okay, so it's been a successful day today. We've got a lot done. I haven't really left the desk. Um, got up at six o'clock in the morning again. I mean, getting up consistently at the same time every morning is really, I'm feeling massive benefits already. Um, you know, the earlier you get up, the better you feel because you're out there starting your day while everyone else is in bed. Um, we've done some more scraping, getting some more leads uh, for our business down onto a spreadsheet and we've we've also put together some some cold outreach scripts because it's important to get that right because you don't want to come across as salesy because otherwise people people don't like being sold to and so they're going to put their barriers up straight away so and then I had a call with a, a guy who was my history teacher all through secondary school and he is really inspirational he broke away from the education system and has started his own coaching business. He's now living in Portugal, in uh, near Lisbon, I think. And uh, yeah, he's living the best life at the minute. He's very content with where he's at. And we've just started a podcast together. So I've just recorded a podcast with an ex-student who I first met when he was 11 years old and I was 25. Now, Nathan Trim, absolute legend, uh, who's got into his business, personal development, entrepreneurship. Uh, we decided to run a podcast called Learn and Lean, which is really for guys in their 20s and 30s to start taking action, feel inspired and achieving their dreams. So we've just recorded three episodes back to back. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, really cool po podcast. I, was tell you. I met Nathan when he was in year seven and I was still a teacher and now obviously we're doing different things. So it was a really cool chat. I think um, you'll get something from it. So we're going to get these edited and I'll post more about it soon. But yeah, thanks, Nathan. It's always interesting to see how things unfold you know and if we go back in a time machine to 2015 or whatever it was and now we're doing a podcast together we go a cool experience i'm sure so uh yeah watch this space so that's gonna be up and running soon um it's very exciting and then after that we've just been doing cold outreach so very boring very painful um but volume that gets luck and so that's what it takes the day is not over i've got to carry on with some more cold outreach yeah, I'm going to record some more YouTube videos later on. It's been a very successful day and uh, yeah, not over yet, but I'm feeling very good with the amount of input I've put in today. And it's a great feeling. If you're in a place where you don't know where to start, just do something because performing without purpose gives you that sense of pride that you've done something, you've done something with the day, it gives you that sense of fulfillment. Um, and yeah, it sort of gets you going in towards the right direction. So 